Would you like to learn what are the top 10 millionaire making altcoins with the potential to turn $1,000 into 1 million, if not $10 million? I'm going to be ranking the following projects in RWA, real world assets, AI, and new projects for their multiplier potential in this tier list for the next bull market. So as usual, as usual, nothing I say is to be construed as financial advice. Crypto is largely unregulated and high risk and people who invest should be prepared to lose all their money. And everything I see to you in this video is for informational and educational purposes only. As usual, nothing I say is to be construed as financial advice. Crypto is largely un My name's the Supo Man. Your superhero of 100 to 1000 X gems. I have found plentiful amounts in the past across many narratives. And this is because I know what makes a 100 to 1000 X coin. So if you love content like this, make sure that you smash a like on this video. It's very low maintenance, but it does the world of good for me. It makes me smile. And also make sure that you subscribe to Team Supo and make sure that you've got post notifications on for all so you don't miss out on live content where I talk about cryptocurrencies. Now, I am doing a bit of a departure in today's episode from meme coins, and I am going to be speaking about more fundamentally sound cryptocurrencies that have got fantastic long term potential across real world assets, AI. And new projects that are concentrating on blockchains and gaming. So there is a whole host of different narratives I am going to be looking at in today's video. So I am going to go right into the action because there's a lot of cryptocurrencies to get through in so little time. So the first one is going to be Goldfinch. Goldfinch is a real world asset cryptocurrency where you give loans to real companies and earn a yield from it. So these loans are backed by off chain real world assets such as property. So therefore it can stabilize the loans and therefore allow you not to lose money, but at the same time earn a big yield on stable coins. So for instance, LATAM sustainability, 17%. You won't get 17% on AVE or many of the DeFi protocols that exist today. They offer much more reduced APY. And the reason why is because they are typically not backed by real world assets. So this is the reason why they believe they can offer higher. So there is some risk, but this is a very good real world asset cryptocurrency. It's only just over a hundred million dollars in market cap. And what I like about it is the name, Goldfinch. It does sound like an investment bank, possibly in New York. So I like that. It is quite high in market cap. It's a hundred million. It's not really paving the way for incredible multipliers, but this is renowned as one of the, I would say high potential plays in real world assets. So as a result of that, I would say this has got 20 to 30 X potential. The next one is Ondo. Ondo is as close to real world traditional finance as you can get. Ondo's platform enables you to be able to invest in US treasuries and US dollar yield. Like basically this is as close to the tokenization of traditional finance instruments as you can get in cryptocurrency. And these guys have got a partnership with BlackRock. So BlackRock, the biggest asset manager in the world, essentially responsible for the reason why we've got a Bitcoin ETF. And you've just got, basically, this is tokenized Wall Street. This is as close to the banking sector as you can get in cryptocurrency. And actually gets very, very close to the vision of Larry Fink, where he was saying about how the tokenization of real world assets is possibly the biggest opportunity in cryptocurrency that has not been exploited. And I brought Ondo to you when it was 22 cents. Now it is 86 cents and a billion dollar market cap. But having said that, I do still think this has got a lot of potential. This, in my opinion, is the leader of real world assets 
on in the cryptocurrency market. So as a result of that, again, I would say this has got the potential to go to a $30 billion market cap. Could go even higher. It's a multi-trillion dollar industry and BlackRock wants in on it. BlackRock, BlackRock wants to be part of it. So as a result of that, I would say this is 30 30x potential. So I put it in here on the highest end, 50x. But I don't, I can't imagine it's going to go that high. Next up, we have got Relio Network. Now, Relio Network is a real world assets exchange. You are able to invest in private equity deals and and real world uh, properties via Relio. So what they are enabling is essentially for you to have a exchange for you to be able to trade these fractionalized digital, uh, real world digital assets. Now this one has got an insane amount of volume for its market cap. So its market cap is 14 million with 22 million as far as volume. So that's basically a 1.5 to one ratio, which is incredible really. Now, Radio Network has already gone up a lot. I spoke about Radio Network when it was 20 cents, and now it is $2.18. It's already done a 10x from that, but it's still a mega, mega micro cap. With that in mind, where the problems lie is in regulation. So something that Goldfinch and Ondo have is they've got regulation on their side. They've got partnerships with the authorities, or at least they've got the licenses to be able to operate within real world assets. I'm not necessarily sure that real world assets has necessarily got, uh, Relio has necessarily got that backing. So it's a very, very high risk cryptocurrency, but this could, this could do much better. This could go to the potential of 50x. I would say what holds this back is really the legitimacy, I would say. But it has definitely got 30x potential from here and 50 on an optimistic side. Joe Bars with another hundred dollars like from last stream. I really appreciate that Joe Bars. Thank you very much. I'm going to give you a personal rendition of I'm, I'm living in Monaco. I'm living in a dream. Really? Yes. <laughs> Thank you very much Joe Bars. I really appreciate uh, Moonbeam to ten dollars. It will happen. I am going to make it happen. Anyway, <laughs> so the next one that I have got for you is one you will undoubtedly have never heard of and you should know about it. And it's literally called RWA. That is the name of the token. Now it's not out yet, but it's going to be coming out very, very soon. It's going to be coming out on Ape Terminal. Now Ape Terminal are extremely good at launching hot coins. They will not typically launch a shit token, right? So some of the recent ones they've had, Inspect, AIT Protocol, which did an ATX, uh, Satoshi VM, which did a 300X, uh, DChat, Bobol, Audi Bank, and Star Heroes. Star Heroes did a 60X. So these guys will not launch literally anything. They will launch things with an enormous amount of, of potential. And again, RWA, enables for the tokenization of real world assets and the ability to be able to trade them. So what they're going to be en enabling you to do with their platform is they're going to enable you to be able to have an exchange to trade fractional, you know, fractional real world assets. So it won't be a whole building. So you won't be buying a skyscraper in New York uh, for, for billions of dollars. What you'll be doing is you'll be owning like a little fraction of a particular building and you'll be able to trade that over time because property should increase in value. So these guys have actually got the licenses to be able to do it. Okay, so they've got six plus licenses, real world asset tokenization ecosystem in the world with fully regulated trading licenses. 40 plus projects ready to be tokenized with a market value of 9.3 billion dollars in U well, US dollars in pipeline and 3,000 plus investors have already joined their ecosystem. So this is a very, very new cryptocurrency. No one knows about this. I can guarantee you that. And this one is going to be opening out, I, I think, under a $1 million market cap. Because this is going to be $10 million fully diluted when it launches 
on Ape Terminal. And I think it's also going to be launching on DQ Bait as well, if you wanted um, some alpha on how to get RWA. But it literally is the ticker. It's the name. It's got it. You, you search real world assets on CoinMarketCap or CoinGecko, and this one will come up because it will essentially have coined the name and the ticker, and it has also got the domain as well. So this one looks like it could be extremely promising. Like, for instance, if you never got into Relio Network when I talked about it 10x ago, when it was 1.4 million, then the likelihood is this one's going to be even cheaper. You know, this is what going to be probably about 500,000 to a million dollar market cap when it releases. So super, super, super cryptocurrency, you know, in terms of multiplier potential. I would say this one has got extremely high potential, you know, particularly from a degen point of view, because this is what happens in cryptocurrency. Like we are now a market completely ruled by degen. You know, some of the traditional cryptocurrencies that should be doing super well are actually not being touched because the DGENs out there are looking for the buzzwords. They're looking for AI, uh, RWA, um, modular blockchains, um, layer twos, Web3. You know, they are looking for the buzzwords. They invest in buzzwords. They don't go for maybe some of the ones that, that did well in the past. So as a result of being in a DGEN centric crypto market, and I would say this one could, from a one, from a 500k to 1 million market cap, could do a 1,000x. It all depends on their implementation. It's one thing launching well, but it's about what you do after. How do you maintain investor interest and make sure people don't just dump on you? And so that, that is why I believe this one has got 100x potential. The next one is one you may have heard of, actually, in the grapevine, and that is Lingo. Lingo is a rewards-based platform. They invest in real-world assets to back this loyalty program. So what happens is, is you are able to buy Lingo, you store it in a vault, and then you generate loyalty points. Those loyalty points can be used across various services. So Lingo have already got partnerships with Netflix, with Spotify, with Starbucks, with Nike, with Xbox. So you would be able to spend these loyalty points on services such as Netflix. So you don't have to pay for Netflix anymore. It's paid for by your loyalty points. So what they're looking to do is they're looking to create the world's most rewarding token. So you just hold it and you earn loyalty points. That's it. There's nothing more than that. Now, how they manage to do that is they invest in real world assets like properties. They put the money that they make into that so that they can then fund the loyalty points that they then give to hodlers to then these hodlers to then get benefits. Very, very good potential cryptocurrency because of the simplicity. We're moving into an era where the retail is going to be coming in. You know, the non-crypto retail, the ones that have never dipped their toe in the crypto waters. And they're not going to understand modular blockchains. They're not going to understand Web3. They're not going to understand proof of work, proof of stake, and all of these complicated cryptocurrency terms initially. They're going to go to meme coins, and then they're going to be looking at cryptocurrencies that are just super simple. And what could be more simple than just buying a token putting it in a vault, earning rewards, and then redeeming them for real-world services, real-world benefits. So that's what Lingo is. Super, super simple with a top team as well. So their team uh, includes David Amsalem, who is the entrepreneur behind John Paul, the world's number one premium loyalty program sold to Accor Hotels for $150 million dollars in 2016. Now, Lingo, I believe, have a... They have got a fully diluted value of 50 million. That tells me that their initial market cap will probably some be somewhere along the lines of 5 million. I don't know, in all honesty. But um, on the assumption that it's at 5 million and we are looking at a top-class team... If you actually have a look down Lingo, I don't really want to, um, you know, promote anybody. But 
Um, you know, these guys have actually got a lot of um, crypto KOLs. So they've got Lady of Crypto. Um, a few others. I don't, <laughs> I don't necessarily know who a lot of these people are, to be honest. But the fact is, is that there's going to be a lot of influencers talking about this. So as a result of that, this is going to this should, by rights, get a lot of traction. So with that in mind, I would say that on a $5 million market cap, 50 million would be 10x, 500 million would be 100x. I think it could definitely achieve that. It depends on how quickly they dilute. And I imagine that it will get slowly released as people hold the lingo tokens. They'll be getting their reward tokens. I think it'll just be slowly released. So it may not it may not have a a quick dilution. On the assumption it doesn't, it's got 100x potential. Could even go higher than that could go higher than that. The next one is Essie. So, or Easy, actually, Easy. This is also going to be launching on Ape Terminal in, I think, just a couple of weeks' time. Now, Easy is another real-world asset platform. What you can do here is you essentially buy raffles. These raffles enable you to win prizes, right? So, you know, for instance, for $10 or for 10 USDC, uh, put into this raffle, you could win this CryptoPunk, which is probably in the, the region of $400,000. Okay, now there's going to be a lot of people playing, so you're not always going to win, but the fact is you can win these assets. Now, in this, in this case, they're digital, but what they're going to be having is they're going to also be having a real-world assets raffle as well. So these are just examples. Modern Home in Los Angeles, the Mona Lisa, a Hublot, uh, a Modern Home in Greece... I don't know what Starhead is, but basically they're real-world assets that have a value in the outside world, basically. So easy again, this one is going to have a small market cap. I believe this is 15 million. Yes, 15 million fully diluted value. So that means it's probably going to be coming out around about 1.5 million market cap. Um, it could be less than that. You know, some some crypto goes he's launched with 1% released. So it could be you know, 200,000, 500,000. But ultimately, I think that this is a real world asset cryptocurrency that's actually fun. I think it's got real potential, particularly because it's quite unique as well. There are not any other raffle systems. So that means that this one has got the, the first mover advantage. So this one, I definitely believe could 100x. This one even could 1000x. They could. You never know. The next one is a super degen cryptocurrency. So we have recently seen the likes of Node AI go to $125 million. We have also seen Destra recently going out to $157 million. This is not even looking at the likes of Render, which is in the billions, the likes of Aether, which is going to be releasing in pretty much the billions. There are a ton of decentralized GPU cryptocurrencies that are flying out to incredible valuations. And one that is presently super degen is this one. OXGPU.AI. Now these guys have at their lowest been a $300,000 market cap and right now sits a $477,000 market cap. So if you think about it, this is a whole 300x less than the likes of Node AI and Destra. And Destra and Node AI are actually still low cap gems, really. They're still at the very, very early stages potentially of their growth. And yet they are 200x, 200x more um, expensive than OXGPU.AI. So OXGPU.AI, like I said, it basically focuses on GPU, decentralized GPU power for AI services. So it's for AI training models and AI dApps, basically. So unleashing AI potential, GPU-centric computing for AI training, and then revenue sharing, storage, and memory management. So this to me looks like a decent, and they've got NVIDIA as partners, this looks like a decent uh, low-cap degen play in the field of 
the uh, decentralized GPU uh, computing services. So as a result of that, I would say a $400,000 market cap. That this one could be a belter. I'm not going to put it at 1,000x, but think about it. A 400k, 4 million is 10x, 40 million is 100x, 400 million, which would only be a double what Destra is, would be a, would be a uh, 1,000x. So I am going to say that this one has got 50 to 100x potential if they can execute, but it's very, very early stages still. So this one uh, is available on Uniswap presently. Uh, where the hell is that? Yeah, You're available on Uniswap presently. That's it, just Uniswap. And it's got very, very low volume presently also because it's just very under the radar. Who knows what this could achieve? Um, bear with me, there's just some super chats. Let me just make sure I'm not forgetting anything that's uh, potentially important. If you put, uh, please check out Success Kid. I've done that already. Bird Dog, look at Milo. Can you check out Stream on Solana? These are all like meme coins. I'm not, I'll maybe look at some at the end, but certainly not going to look at any now. But thank you all very much for your contributions. They're all appreciated. Um, yeah, so anyway, if you could, people, just a little half-time check. If you could, just tap that like. Makes me very happy, and the animation hopefully makes you happy. Right, okay. Next up, we have got Gaming. Now, Gaming only came out today. So Gaming, actually, let me have a look at the market cap presently. Oh, it's gone up a little bit. Well, I, just before I came on the stream, I saw this was at 1.7 or something like that. So it had gone down. So Gaming is... A Web3 gaming infrastructure cryptocurrency. It's got quite a few elements to it. All right, so this is a competitor to Aether, to Internet Computer, to Render. Basically, they provide cloud, decentralized cloud computing for uh, Web3 games. Right, so it's a Web3 superstructure, basically. Cloud computing, games distribution. So this is the likes of um, also playable games, um, uh, Altura, um, games.gg, games distribution, okay? They give the, they, they are putting games out there for you to be able to see, but they don't necessarily make them. They're also a Web3 Games incubator and launchpad, so you can see this is also Seedify, and also they are a leading esports platform, so you can see that as kind of veracity. So what you've got here is ICP, Aether, uh, Playable, uh, Altura, Seedify, and Veracity, in one cryptocurrency and presently this cryptocurrency in market cap is 17.5 million now this has got a 76 million dollar volume that means this is 4.3 this is 1 to 4.3 ratio you never see that where basically the volume is even is is far in excess of the market cap now, a big reason for that is because of the fully diluted value, but I don't think that that supply is going to be realized for a long time. From what I have seen, uh, gaming uh, investors are locked up for a while, so this has got the time to breathe and make gains. Okay, so not only are they gaming superstructure, but also they have an esports platform as well. So they're looking to be a platform for games, for competition, for generating revenue, basically. So I would say a very, very good cryptocurrency that presently is not even 10x from its ICO. So its ICO price, I believe, was 0 0.0025. So that means that's not even 10x from that. Now, this is, this is what I would say is a pretty high quality project. And not many people got in 10x, less than 10x the, the price. So you're not going to be having a huge amount of dumpage regardless of the fully diluted market cap. I do think it's been slightly disappointing a launch, but that's good if you weren't in the launch. It's good if you weren't an IDEO hodler. So I, I invested in this at, at private stage, and to me, oh, I wouldn't sell for 10x. I flip in away. This one could go very, very far in my opinion. As I said, very, very good cryptocurrency in terms of its competitors, Aether, an, an internet computer, render, 
you know, those ilk of cryptocurrencies, Akash Network. So I would say that gaming, not necessarily 100x, not from here, but this one could certainly 30 to 50x, in my opinion. The next one is going to be, oh, so interesting. So in the last week that I've been trading Solana meme coins, I have loved and hated it. I've gotten one 100x, six 30x pluses, and about 10 rug pulls, right? Where you invest in something that looks very, very promising. It kind of jumps out initially, and then early investors just sell the shit out of it. The, 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 the de developer leaves or rugs, and it gets taken over by a community that doesn't know what they're doing. They do a shit Twitter, a uh, shit website, or the website just goes offline, and it just ends up being ineffective. And the thing is, there are hundreds of thousands of these happening on a daily basis on Solana. And the pain point is evident. There's a lot of people getting burnt right now as we speak. And the solution is one intro. One intro. This is a Solana-based liquidity bootstrapping platform. What that means is, is it enables for... Uh, meme coins and Solana based projects to launch in a fair, transparent and secure way for not only for the project, um, the project creators, but also for the investors. So what happens is, is, is that you've got transparency of the people creating these coins. So they are going to be able to raise money and get liquidity on one intro and one intro is also going to be having a DEX. So this is going to place one intro with the competition of Jupiter and also Radium. Now, Radium, shit. If you've been using Radium, I mean, they've got a beta version, which is a little bit better, but it's laggy and it's problematic. Jupiter's a lot better, but sometimes the coins aren't on Jupiter. So, one intro is coming along to provide a one-stop solution for Solana new projects, and particularly meme coin projects, because if there's fairness and transparency behind who's creating the token, then, people, then investors are going to be more secure in buying the token, and therefore creating a much better ecosystem throughout, and making Solana less of a cesspool, less of a shithole, right? Because Solana right now is a joke, because you've got these meme coins, some random ones are doing very well, and some cryptocurrencies sound like they could be doing, should do well, do really badly, and tons of investors get rugged, lose a lot of money. This is the this is the answer, and this is why I like it. Now, the only problem with one intro is I don't know the initial market cap or the fully diluted value. What I've heard on the grapevine is that it's going to be circa 200 million fully diluted value. Which I think is very, very cheap considering that Jupiter, etc. in the billions are uh, on current, on, um, on circulating supply. So circulating supply-wise, this come out to about 20 million. Which I think would be an insane multiplier for one intro. And they offer better than one intro. Uh, they offer better than what Radium and Jupiter do. They offer that extra benefit for the end, you know, for the investor. So as a result of that, I would say that one intro has got 50x potential. Could do even better than that. All depends on the tokenomics, which I don't yet know. Got a few more super chats. Let me just uh, check them out. 30 pounds. Can you have a look at artificial idiot AI coin? Okay, I will. I will check some of these out afterwards. Bird dog, bird dog. No, okay. The next one is a super blockchain, in my opinion. This one has the power to be, and could be a top 20 cryptocurrency. And that one is this, Polyhedra. Now, Polyhedra is actually presently out. You can trade it presently. And this is $278 million market cap. But this one, in my, this one could easily be 27 billion. It could actually even be a hundred billion in my opinion. Why? Because this is a multi-chain ZK blockchain, right? So what happens is with this is you can create dApps that are portable across all blockchains and you have got the security of ZK Snark technology, which basically gives privacy, all right? So you've got zero knowledge rollups, which is the speed. You've got ZK Snarks, which is the privacy, and you have got the multi-chain for dApps, okay? So this, in my opinion, is like a, a Premier League version of Moonbeam, basically. 
So with them, they have got three product products, basically. They've got uh, the ZK Bridge. They've got, uh, they're also modular, by the way. And these guys are partnered with a ton of different projects. So I am seeing, like, Corpo Games presently is uh, a partner. And they've got various partners that are notable names. So you've got Phantom, you've got Mantle, uh, you've got Polygon, you've got Arbitrum, uh, Animoca Brands, Binance Smart Chain. The ecosystem's huge. This one is a belter, in my opinion. And this is already available on decent exchanges, so it's got de it's got good liquidity. OKX, Gate, QCoin, and yet there is still more room to the upside with the likes of Binance and Coinbase yet to launch it. But if we have a look on who's invested in it, they've got Binance Labs. It's not even on Binance yet. So, Binance Labs, Polychain, which is the king of DeFi, and king of actual um, financial blockchains anyway. Animoca Brands, NGC, OKX, QCoin. Basically, they've got a, a range of Premier League VCs in them. I don't think anybody's really spoken about Polyhedra yet. It's a great name. Super design. Super branding. And it's just it's just fantastic in terms of what it, what it offers for DAP creators, basically. And the fact it's already kind of a big deal. This one, I imagine, is going to be worth multiple potentially in the future multiple hundreds of billions and presently it's it's fully diluted 3.1 billion i think it's uh, undervalued um and 278 million this is a i would say not necessarily you're going to get 100x it could happen maybe it won't but what i would say is this is certainly a lot safer than the likes of you know a lot of the other coins i talk about you know, these guys have got incredible backing, a lot of partnerships, a lot of fundamentals that prop up their... Think of think of them as basically being backed by real-world assets, all right? You're not going to be getting the, vol the huge volatility down because they've got a lot of liquidity, fantastic backers, and great partnerships. So I would say that this one, 20 to 30x, absolute best 50x, but I'm not going to go that far. I would say 20x. I would say this is one that, I mean, I personally have put a lot of money into Polyhedra because I don't expect the multipliers, but I do expect slow wins. This is a slow win. Something like OXGPU, I expect would be a fast win. Lingo, um, RWA, fast wins. This one's a slow win, a slow burn. It's good to be diversified in case the fast wins actually just end up dying. The next one is one that is coming out very, very shortly. And that is Blast Fi. And this has come out from the good people at Bluezilla who have not brought out a new launch pad in over a year. The last launch pad they brought out was AI Pad, and that's done superbly. Now, Blast Fi is basically a launch pad for the Blast Layer 2 cryptocurrency. So Blast is basically a competitor to you know, Manta, to Optimism, to Arbitrum, to Coinbase. So what you've seen recently with meme coins is that you've seen a kind of migration from Solana-based meme coins to base meme coins. And Blast is very, very similar. This was a blockchain that came out literally a couple of weeks ago. And people were already sending some cryptocurrencies over to the Blast ecosystem to try and farm or try and make profits on meme coins. It didn't quite you know, take off as base has or Solana has because it's very, very new. Not many people know about it. But Blast is definitely uh, a new breeding ground for projects. Okay, so where you've got Solana and where you've got base, they're bringing out all these meme coins and new projects. Blast is definitely uh, up there with being able to do exactly the same. And what you're able to do, and the thing about Blast, Blast is like a weird new kind of layer, layer one, layer two blockchain. This is a layer two that is concentrating on earning you yield for your ETH, uh, for your USD, etc. Right. So this is like a this is like a yield layer two. It's like meant to be generating kind of passive income for you. And so BlastFi as a launch pad, they are also doing the same. So for instance, native yield based IDOs on Blast. So you are going to be, be essentially able to earn a yield on the IDOs that they're going to be launching if you get involved in those IDOs. So they have got IDOs coming up for this year. All right, so this is not yet out. Uh, you were able to get into this today. I, was, I should have brought a video out on this a little bit earlier. You were able to get into this today via AI pad, via um, Game Zone. I think also via BSC pad as well. This is going to be coming out, and this is going to really be focused on 
maximizing the opportunities uh, for the Blast blockchain. And not only that, this is a new launch pad from Bluezilla. Again, the last one they brought out was AI pad. The one before that was Meta VPad. Meta VPad did a 1000X. Um, AI pad did a 60X. Blast fight. This could do even better. So Blast fight, I would say, has got the potential to do a 50X. This could also do a 100X. Think about it. It's like, it's like, it's imagine, it's pretty much the same as if they were to la launch a base blockchain launch pad. Pretty much the same kind of thing, but it's Blast, right? So um, it's focusing on an emerging um, ecosystem. A little bit like how they did in the last cycle with Velas, but Blast has got more, more potential than Velas did, right? So not only with Blast are you able to make a return on the Blast token, but also on the IDOs you can get in as a result of holding the Blast token. Right, the Blast Fi token. So therefore, knowing how Bluezilla do in in bull markets, they tend to make humongous multipliers. And you know, Velas Pad was a, was a massive multiplier in the in the last bull market. I don't have them on here. That was a bit of a faux pas. But um, but Velas Pad, I believe, did a, a huge multiplier. I don't know why I don't have them on here actually. <laughs> but um, you know, Blast Fi, I think you know actually maximizes on a cryptocurrency it's got a lot of potential uh, uh, uh ecosystem's got a lot of potential so i'm gonna say 50 to 100x 50 to 100x i'll put it in 50x for now but it's got 100x potential the next one is this one it is a competitor to pixels so pixels has come out recently this one shot into um you know the the very very high uh, hundreds of millions in volume in uh, in market cap, and now there is a new one being brought out by the founder of Stepen or Step App, and that is Pixelverse. This is again another pixelated open world gaming project, right? Which has not yet launched. It's going to be launching very very shortly. Quest based battler based in a cyberpunk pixelated universe. So basically, it's a complete competitor to Pixels. Same kind of theme going on gaming and it's got a very very well renowned founder so this one look it's already got eleven thousand five hundred followers lady of crypto uh eric crypto man i mean these two are are real degens to be honest they get involved in early opportunities and yeah they're they're, they're pretty good um kols to be on this project so anyway these guys got good backing very good founder very experienced founder uh, taken a cryptocurrency already into the hundreds of millions in terms of market cap. And now they're bringing out a gaming project which is ultra bullish. In my opinion, more bullish than a, than a move to earn cryptocurrency. So Pixelverse, let me just have a look at the tokenomics. So Pixelverse is going to be a 20 million fully diluted value. So therefore, probably 1 to 2 million initial market cap. So over time, it will take it take a long time to dilute. So I, I would say this one has also got a huge promise. You know, 100 million is not difficult to achieve. When you, see, when you see how Pixels has done, for instance. So, Pixels here is a Marvia. They've done really extremely well. Look, Pixels is a 3.9 billion fully diluted value. 3.9, 3, 4 billion fully diluted value. 600, 600 million in terms of circulating market cap. So, that shows you the humongous potential for Pixelverse. All right, so... This one, I would say, has humongous potential. From 1 million market cap, if it was 1 million market cap, it'd be 600x to get to where Pixels is as an initial circulating supply, uh, initial um, market cap. And then, um, for the fully diluted, virtually the same. And if it was to come out at 2 million, then it would be uh, 300x. So either way, whichever way you look at it, it could have 100x written all over it, Pixelverse. And again, gaming is ultra bullish. People love new games. Look at look at Star Heroes did an eighty x no sixty x on its first day. So people are going to be really really bullish on this. The last one is a cryptocurrency you may have heard of. I don't know. Monad. This one is the next Solana, in my opinion. This one is an extremely high performance layer one blockchain that not only has parallel parallelized. Uh, financial transaction processing. 
So what that means is it's just got it's got multiple consensus running at the same time, making sure that you know financial transactions are happening all the time concurrently, basically. So if you if you look at the likes of of, of Ethereum, for instance, that's just one singular blockchain, right? And it handles as it comes in, whereas parallelized crypto parallelized blockchains enable super super speed. Now these guys presently have ten thousand transactions per second, which is Arguably faster than Solana. So Solana is, what, 7,000 transactions per second? It's purported to be around right 70,000, but it does actually do 5,000. So this one's already faster. One second block time, one single slot final finality, more decentralized. And what I also like about this is this has also got parallel storage as well. So it's got parallel financial transaction processing. So what you would normally get on a blockchain. But it's also got the... Uh, storage as well. So depending on the needs of the DAP developer, do they need storage or do they just need financial transactions happening on their blockchain? Either way, this one has the, the needs for them. So I see this as a competitor to SWE, to Aptos, to say these. this is going to be one of the big blockchains. It's going to easily be in the top 100. Now, it does have quite a high valuation, got to say. This one, I think, is a valuation of $3 billion. <laughs> So that means that the initial market cap is more than likely going to be something along the lines of uh, maybe 100 million market cap, maybe, worst case scenario, 300 million market cap. So, but when you consider that Solana presently is currently in the hundreds of hundreds of billions, and this is basically a high performance blockchain, very, very similar, that 84 billion, all right, uh, and a fully diluted 109 billion. So Maynard, again, not necessarily expecting this to do 100x. It could. It all depends on how quickly it releases uh, in terms of the dilution. And also um, their execution of their launch and their progression. But I would say this one has definitely got a 30 to 50x maximum. 30 to 50x maximum. You know, if we have a look at the likes of, of SWE, for instance... You know, this one is, is is roughly, in terms of circulating market cap, exactly where Monad is fully diluted. So if I am expecting SWE from this point to potentially do a 20x, then Monad has got even better potential. It's going to be even newer. It's going to be coming into the market very, very quickly. Undoubtedly, I, I know some of the investors include Virtual Bacon, Elio Trades, Alex Becker, uh... I don't know who else necessarily. It's it's quite a top quality project. So I would say Monad, 30 to 50 X potential is a beauty. This is definitely one to to have and to hold. From this day forth. So there we are, people. What was your favorite cryptocurrency out of the ones that I spoke about? A real range of DGENs. Now you can see it quite high, but the reason why is because a, they're either very, very explosive or ex explosive narratives, or because they're extremely low market caps and also part of an explosive narrative. And that's why we've got some of these. If you were to ask me, gun to my head, which would you say has a thousand X potential? Probably zero X GPU, probably RWA, um, and a push maybe Lingo as well, I would say. Those are the ones that could push on the cusp of a thousand X. And there's definitely going to be a thousand X in this crypto market, without a doubt. Right, I see that my super chat's are going crazy. Let me just have a look. Bird dog, how long have I been online? 43 minutes. Okay. I don't want to be on too long. Chloe on Solana will explode soon. Um, I actually don't doubt that because I really like that. Deck screener. Oh, dick screener more like. Um, so, bird dog. Oh, 1.8 million. For a minute though, I thought it was 1.8k. Uh, 113,000 liquidity. Good website. I I am now coming to the realization that maybe you can't go to DGen on DGen coins. Okay, so it's okay to go DGen in something like AI or um, yeah, AI or, or RWA. Or, or gaming, but going degen on an already degen type of cryptocurrency, it might be a bit too much. Actually, probably the best thing to do is to go for 
you know, the, the ones that are actually in the millions or late hundreds of thousands. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's okay. I I really like Chloe, if I'm honest with you. I think that's an amazing cryptocurrency. Uh, I didn't know her name was Chloe, to be frank. Can TokenFi still 10x? Oh, definitely. Yeah, TokenFi is also a uh, real-world assets-based cryptocurrency. There was another one somebody asked me to look at. But uh, it has disappeared from my screen. I can't remember what it was. Better call Saul! Probably my favourite ever meme coin name. Better call Saul. It literally could not be better, could it? Let's face it. It's BCS, this one. Um, 1.8k now. Fuck it, that's ridiculous. Does not deserve... I've got to be honest, it does not deserve that. Better call Saul is a supreme name. Um, have you got a website? Oh, maybe this is the reason why then. Because somehow their Twitter has gone. This is the problem with DGen coins, is that they 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 just literally just disappear. And that's why people have sold it off basically to, to its death. Book of Pepe, Book of Pepe, yeah. I mean I've already covered Book of Pepe. Book of Pepe actually has uh, resorted into a, a 40x for me. So I did Book of Pepe, I did House of Meme. Book of Pepe was a uh, was a slower burn. Why is it not coming up here? Where the fuck are you? Maybe it's on here. Mm hmm. Book of Pepe. I did sell it, to be honest. Um, I sold it about uh, point zero, z uh, four zeros two two one. So I did sell mine. But um, it made a superb, uh, superb um, run up. Probably, probably the better asset, artificial idiot coin. And let me have a quick look at that, and then I'll probably uh, make a move. Is not even. Oh, is it this one? AI idiot. AI idiot, one three point one million <clears throat> CN. Where's the website on this thing? It doesn't even have it. But clearly, it's got a lot of buy volume. So, Book of Wojak. I actually invested in Book of Wojak. I just put like one Solana in it and it didn't do that well. So I thought I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna share it because I don't want to burn a load of people. But uh, yeah, Book of Wojak came out. It actually looked pretty promising. They don't even have a website. This is just a joke. A fucking joke. Shibasu. I've seen Shibasu. Uh, it actually looked pretty good in terms of like the website design. 326k market cap now. Yeah, wicked website. But I mean, the thing is, is that it's very, very difficult to judge these meme coins. I mean, literally, sometimes I have no idea why they're doing well. I guess, in a lot of occasions, the best thing a meme coin cryptocurrency can do is just keep their website up and don't have a, a drugging dev. Fucking morons. I actually do hate some of these. Solar. And this is the reason why I really like one intro. Um, boys club. How long have I been on now? 48 minutes. Okay. Still doing okay. Boys Club. Those are boys clubs. Which one? Is it this one? 1.4k. Uh, maybe it wasn't that one. Is it this one? That's on ETH. You didn't say. So I can't really check. Oh, mom, mom, mom. I don't want to be on too long, so I'm not going to take any other super chats. So please don't send any more, because I am not going to take any. I'm not going to take on any more. I don't really want to be on more than like half an hour. I don't want to be on you know more than forty minutes, to be honest. 
So anyway, here we are, people. So you've got some absolute beauties right there. So what was your favorite? Let me know in the comments. And also, if there is a cryptocurrency that you've spoken about in the live chat or one that you'd like me to have a look at, put it in the comments. I'll have a look at it. Check it out. See if it's worthy of talking about. Um... Bear with me a second. Right, okay, yeah, I think that's it. All right, people, thank you very much for turning up today. Uh, I appreciate all your attendance, and I will hopefully be online soon. But till next time, people, it is lights out.